Today I want to show you a really fun way you can color coordinate different parts of your images in Photoshop. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you how to take different colors from your images and then coordinate them throughout to make everything look cohesive. This is going to be so much fun. So jumping in, we've got this sample image. I love this photograph. It's so beautifully photographed. And this eyeliner here, as we can see, really does a great job matching the clothing. But we got this purple here too, and I want to integrate that purple. I think it's just going to look so cool. So we're going to show you how to do it. Now, what I want to do is select our subject's clothing. So let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. We're going to grab right over here to the object selection tool. Now with the object selection tool, we can literally just like click and select our entire subject. So let's go ahead and do that. You could even go to the select subject tool that would work as well. But now what I want to do is I can hold alt or option and minus out areas of the selection. So I can click on that we'll sort of minus out her hair, click and minus out her face, minus out her nose and her eyebrows. Basically, I'm just holding alt or option and this is letting me minus these areas out. The other thing that you can do if you want to is you can go right over here to your selection brush tool and then you can hold alt or option. So you, so you can like normally you get a little plus icon so it'll add to the selection. But if you hold alt or option, you can just go ahead and paint. It's going to minus out from that selection. So I'm just going to make sure we minus out our subject's face and then the earring right over here. because we don't really want to color that and make sure we don't want to color her nose. But that's a pretty easy way to basically select all of our uh, subjects clothing. So this color lets us know that we have a selection active. Okay, what we want to do now is grab the purple color from her eye makeup and then I want to apply it to her clothes. So let's hit B for the brush tool. Now when you have your brush tool active, you can hold Alt or Option and that's going to bring up your eye dropper. So we can go ahead and click on this purple color that we love right over here. Okay. You can also just click here on your eyedropper if you want to just grab that color. But I like to just click right here and grab that color. So we have a selection active. Let's go ahead and make sure we create a new layer. So we're on a new layer here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit. We're going to go to fill. And then here where it says fill our foreground color. That's what we want to use. Because remember, that's the color we just grabbed from the eye makeup was that pink color. So let's hit OK. It's just going to fill it with that color. We're going to hit control or command D to deselect. So basically we have all of our subjects clothing now as the same color as the eye makeup. It doesn't look good right now, <laughs> but it will in just a second. So what we're going to do is change our blend mode. Right now our blend mode is set to normal and it just looks like a normal pink color. But we can change this to hue or we can change this to color. So let's go ahead and click here. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom to where we see hue. Now the nice thing about changing hue is that it's going to keep the relative saturation throughout my different colors. For instance, you can see some areas like here in the shadows, you can see it's a little bit more saturated. We have more color and then here my highlights a little bit less. So sometimes if you go from here to color, you can see now it's all kind of the same vibrant color. And it doesn't always look as realistic. So if you want to get a realistic color transformation, a lot of the time you actually want to use hue. It's going to will work a lot better and it's going to keep the saturation of the original image. Okay, so we changed that to hue. Now, cool. If this is what you want, good, all, all done. You could even do something like this because it's selected that glove. You could grab a layer mask on this and you could use B for your brush tool and then paint black on your layer mask and you could layer mask out this glove. So the glove would be, you know, the glove would be basically the same thing as, here we go, same thing as this color of the makeup, and then the rest of the clothing would be right there. But I thought there would be one more thing that we could kind of like amplify a little bit more. Now, in this case, she's wearing a dress. It's like all the same color. If she had like a top and a bottom, you could change just the top of the bottom color, which would be cool. But what I want to do is something a little bit more funky. I was thinking we could keep like the shadows or the highlights, the turquoise color, and then change the shadow or the highlights to this purple color. And to do that, we're going to use a tool called Blend If. So with the same exact fabric, now we're going to be able to fade through turquoise and 
purple. It's going to look really cool. So to get to that tool, all we have to do is double click right over here in the gray area next to your layer. Okay, double click right there and you're going to get what's called layer style. You might have seen this before and we're going to be using blend if. All right, let's go ahead and bring this right over here because we don't need to see anything on the left hand side. Okay, so for blend if. Now, here's pretty cool. We have two sliders. We have a current slider and then we have the underlying layer. If you want your color to interact with the underlying image, then you want to use the underlying layer slider. Okay. So this is pretty cool. Now, what you want to do is right now, by default, you're going to see we have one little icon over here. And if I click and drag that from the left to the right, we're going to start to see some changes in our image, especially as I bring it right over here. You can see now this turquoise color is starting to show through from my shadows. And now I have this purple color in my highlights. Now, let's go ahead and take this all the way back over there. We're going to do the other side. So if I take this and grab this from the right to the left, it's going to be the opposite. Now we have our turquoise color for the highlights and this purple color for the shadows. Here's a great tip. Right now we can see the edges look a little bit rough. So what we want to do is right here back in our blend if, okay, remember we're in blend if in the layer style. Right now we want to take this point and we're going to hold Alt or Option and separate these two sliders out. So Alt or Option, we're going to click and drag. There we go. And you can see it separates that out into two separate sliders. And this is going to give us some feathering, which is going to give us a nice, subtle, beautiful effect. And look how nice that is now. I think this is just so, so pretty. So now we have this same turquoise color that matches the eye makeup in the highlights. But then where it fades into shadow, look at that. We're matching that purple. I think this is absolutely fantastic. And of course, you could do the opposite. So I think this looks really good. But if I want to take this and bring it back to normal, I can go from the dark. There we go. Let's bring it about where we want it. And then hold Alt or Option, separate out these two sliders, and then go like this. And then we have the opposite, okay? So now the magenta is showing up in the highlights and the turquoise is in the shadows. I kind of liked it the other way. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab this slider right about there. Hold Alt or Option, separate those out. And then boom, look at that. I just thought this is a really like quick and easy thing that we can do in Photoshop that, you know, it some fabric does change how light hits it and things like that. So I don't think it's like an impossible thing to happen in real life, but hey, why not? We're we're in Photoshop. So why not be able to add this purple color into the shadows and retain this turquoise color in the highlights? How cool is that? And then best of yet, I can just turn this layer off and on at any time. So I'm not stuck. I don't have to apply this transformation. I can just double click right here if I want to at any point in time. And I can continue to make these changes. If I want to make it a little bit more subtle, I can do that. And we are good to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and after. It's a super quick and easy effect. Here's our image before and the after. I love doing this sort of thing, being able to integrate different parts of our images with different colors. I think it just makes it a lot more fun and it's really easy to do. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a big thumbs up if you did and if you want to get more free Photoshop tutorials, simply click on subscribe. Thanks again and I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.